All right, guys, so all the motors and everything we do here, we always check piston to valve, even though we know that our camshafts and all that other stuff, we've done it a million times, we know exactly what clears and doesn't. However, for you guys at home, sometimes mistakes happen, different push rods get sent, different heads get used, you know, all kinds of strange stuff. So we always suggest checking piston to valve. We use a solid lifter. Um, you don't have to, you can get away with not doing it, but you have to be real careful if you do. Anyway, so checker spring, um, rocker arm, solid lifter, push rod long enough. All you're gonna do is tighten the uh, rocker arm bolt down, not 22 foot pounds, just until the push rod you have and the valve make contact. So you should still be able to rock it back and forth, especially if you have a hydraulic lifter that you haven't modified. But anyway, so if you have a cam that has overlap, <clears throat> the uh, or if you have, I should say, intake valve opening point prior to top dead center. So like our normal stage three cam, it's like five degrees. Um, so with, you basically have six degrees to still have piston to valve clearance prior to top dead center if you have a non-milled head and a dead stock gasket. Beyond that, all bets are off. So uh, this is a year daddy cam, LT4 setup. Um, not really gonna go into any more details than that on this setup, on this motor in particular. However, we want to check piston to valve. So what I'm gonna do is start rotating the motor over until I see the rocker arm or you know back here at the push rod start to move down. So if you do have um, you know intake valve opening point prior to top dead center, then top dead center of the piston and when the valve open are gonna be the two closest points for contact. That's simply because the valve is actually starting to open prior to, so the valve is still, oh, is that? As, as the piston's coming up, the camshaft starts to open the intake valve prior to the piston getting top dead center. So somewhere around six to nine degrees, usually with, with our normal cams, that's where you're gonna have the worst contact. Then it's gonna try to actually chase the piston, you know, the valve's gonna chase the piston down the bore. So, uh, you can mock up without the gasket. Uh, sometimes I just like to go metal to metal. That way there's no fudge factor. If not, take like one bolt on either side, drive those in. We already did that earlier and checked it. Simply video, just gonna hold the head down. All right, so what we're looking for is that to start to move. And, you know, use a socket if you want. Okay, so it just started to move, right? So if this cam had the intake valve opening prior to top dead center or had a lot of overlap, this is the closest point. But as you can see right now, we've got, you know, 300 thou probably clearance. So since I know the specs of this cam, I'm gonna keep rotating just a little bit more and I start checking the distance. I still got a couple hundred right there, a little bit more. I'm, now I'm back to gaining more distance. So I'm trying to check pre, minimum and maximum, or, you know, once it starts to chase it back down. What we normally do is I have a dial indicator that sits, sits across the head. Once I find that minimum distance, I set the dial indicator tip here, and then basically I'll push it down watching the dial indicator, and I'll give you my exact piston to valve clearance. There's other methods that you can do, like the clay method and all that other stuff. The problem is clay will compress. If you don't have a solid lifter, it's definitely going to compress your lifter. It's going to scroll your measurements up. Then when you get in there, you're going to try and slice your clay and pull it out, and measure it with micron and all that crap. So like. I did away with that years ago. Um, I've just gone to this method and you know, we haven't had any issues yet. So this is very simple. It doesn't take long to do. Um, and then, you know, we always check it twice. So, and a lot of times some guys, you know, if you really want to be precise, you'll check opposite sides, you know, head, make sure everything's flat and all that, but that's up to you how much time you want to take. All right.